later on your impression is you like him and he, nobody can, can come to tell you the negative uh, thing that he does. You cannot hear. You cannot even consider any negative uh, information one may bring about him. Okay? <clears throat> so, uh, we have mitigating the impacts of bias in impression formation. We have uh, four different ways how we can mitigate the impact of bias in impression formation. The first one is critical thinking, whereby we need to think critically and analyze the information before we make uh, the conclusion. Secondly, it's a seek disconfirming evidence. On this point, uh, we try to seek more evidence that may confirm one's uh, characters before we make uh, our last decision. You try to source some other evidence about one's uh, character or one's behavior. Empathy and uh, perspective taking. Read on that. Okay. Can you explain what that point is trying to, to say? To the conclusion, okay. All right. And the last one, mindfulness. Okay. So this uh, mindful mindfulness is the practice of being in the moment and focusing on the information at hand. And rather than letting your mind wander or jump into conclusion, they may look similar, but this one it's like you also try to scrutinize the situation and uh, try to focus or source other information before you make the decision. Well, it is not uh, possible to entirely eliminate biases from our uh, thought process. These strategies can help only to reduce uh, their influence and allow us uh, to form more accurate and fair impressions. So these four steps 
who only help us to reduce the percentage of uh, biases in our impression formation. The role of impression management in impression formation. Yes, read. <coughs> This process of consciously or unconsciously creating others from our past is known as perception will help to improve others' techniques of perception making, assessing their role in the Techniques of impression management. Yes, yes. Impression management involves a variety of techniques, and this can be broadly categorized into a certain strategies. Mm -hmm. How do you understand that point? As one of the technique of uh, managing our impressions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. How do you think of that point? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. So it's like uh, we try to put some measures like working hard, okay? While you are working hard, one can have an impression depending on the hard work that you are doing. And also uh, the competency uh, skills. When you are rendering the skills in a good way, one can also have uh, good impressions about our skills. So this is all about uh, having uh, assertive strategies that may give a positive uh, information.
The second one is the defensive strategy. Yes, good. Mm -hmm. So defensive strategy is all about uh, creating measures uh, used to protect ourselves. So we may protect ourselves by denying the incident or trying to explain uh, more facts on that incident or also try to create some obstacles like giving uh, excuses to the uh, situation. So this is all about the defensive uh, uh, strategy in impression management. Any question? Any question? Oh. So the effectiveness of impression management strategy. The effectiveness of impression, uh, impression uh, management strategy often depends on the context and the uh, of authenticity of the behavior. For example, self-promotion can be uh, effective when there is uh, a factual evidence to back up the claims. However, it is perceived as uh, uh, branding or exa exaggeration and it can also uh, backfire uh, on us. It can bring the negative impression if we are not so careful. Similarly, while ingredition can make a person more uh, likable if it comes off as uh, genuine and sincere. It can lead to a negative impression if it is perceived as manipulative or insincere. Yeah. So let's have um, a read assignment. We should take one should take a tradition, one take the affect and cognition. Let's read on those uh, topics. Who is taking attribution? You? Okay.
please let's remember in our next class to present these topics. We also have uh, this uh, topic, heuristics. Heuristics are mental shortcuts that allow people to solve problems and make judgments quickly and effectively. So despite uh, allowing us to make decisions uh, quickly, but these holistics have uh, uh, benefits as well as drawbacks. Common types of heuristics rely on availability, representativeness, familiarity, familiarity and uh, echoing effects, mood, uh, scarcity and trial and error. These are the common types of heuristics. <clears throat> so they play important role in uh, problem solving as well as in decision making. So on this, we also have uh, different theories that were used in heuristics. One attribute substitution. Whereby um, people substitute simpler but related questions instead of more complex and difficult ones. On this point, it's whereby we have a complex situation which needs uh, uh, us to make uh, a difficult uh, decision, but we end up simplifying the decision. Effort reduction. On effort reduction is where uh, people use heuristics as a type of cognitive resonance to reduce the mental effort required to make choices and decisions. Just because the heuristic is a shortcut way of making decisions, so the effort reduction is whereby we look into uh, the laziness of uh, our brain in making decisions. Just come up with uh, a quick decision uh, without thinking deep. Fast and frugal.
people use a uh, heuristic because they can be fast and correct in certain contexts. Uh, this, uh, it means in other uh, individuals, they think fast and that decision that they come up with is uh, mostly uh, correct, but not always. So we also have different types of heuristics. The availability, yes, Rick. <laughs> Try to explain on that point. This guy needs to get something. I remember about something. That has some way of it. So here it means you you have some scenarios that you experienced in the past which is readily available so in a certain instance you try to connect uh, with the uh, that instance to the recent one so your judgment uh, depends on the available uh, information or events that you remember. Yes, familiarity. Mm -hmm. So on familiarity, it means uh, maybe you have uh, two options or you are given uh, to choose and you are given a chance to choose from those two options, but you opt to go for the uh, for the so the one whereby you had uh, experience with, even though maybe you you had you struggled with it, but because at a certain point you had experience with that one, you opt to go for that one instead of going for the new one because you don't have any ideas in that option. You rather go for the challenges in the first uh, option because you you um, you intervened in that scenario. Okay? It's like you are you are afraid to uh, to approach new ideas. Representativeness. Mm -hmm. 
It's straightforward. Can be perfect, yes. For example, research has shown that people are more likely to see decisions as having benefits and joys when in conflict. Naturally, the motion on the other hand leads people to focus from the potential downside to something other than. Okay, so this one deals with the uh, emotions. It's like when you are when you are in high or when you are um, can I explain it? Okay, like maybe you are depressed, okay? You are in that mood whereby uh, anything which comes, you may interpret it as uh, the bad effect just because yourself, you are, you are down. Okay, when you are um, in a positive mode, like you are happy or you are excited, so anything that comes, you also uh, interpret it as a positive uh, thing. So your mood, okay, well, is your yes, interpretation. Ah, ah, uh, the So this one it's the scarce thing whereby uh, we make decisions on the availability of uh, things. In the, this one is also straightforward whereby when the things are present, uh, they advertise so that one is able uh, to access those things because the moment they last, it will take long for them to access. Okay? Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's pray.
Try and Taylor, yes. So the try and error is whereby we uh, try to do different um, activities or try to apply different methods in something so that we see which method is working on that particular thing. And, uh, Another example is when uh, children are playing games. They try to use all their means until they are able to manage the game. So this uh, try and error uh, takes place in our daily activities. The bias, I think we have talked much on bias. <coughs> How to make better decisions. So we have a slowdown and identity of goals as well as the recognize all or nothing thinking. On slow down, we are more likely to make an error in judgment if we are trying to make a decision quickly or we are under pressure to do so. Taking a little more time to make a decision can help us seeing things more clearly and also have a wider choice of uh, intervening or making decisions. So the slowdown, it's like uh, we try to control the heuristic itself. Because heuristic is the faster way of making decision, right? But we are there to like to manipulate the heuristic itself so that we are in a better position to make uh, uh, good decisions. So we try to slow our heuristic a bit down. Identity of goals. Here it means we have an incident, then we need to come up with uh, strategies first on how to handle that incident. So we need to have the aim, we need to have the goal on how to deal with that problem. <clears throat> Rather than just jumping into a conclusion. On identifying the goals, it means you have different ways, okay, on how best to, 
to deal with that problem. This last one, yes, read. Recognize all or nothing thinking. I recognize answers and possibilities of what choices in the book. How do you understand it? When making a decision, we have the tendency of just jumping into a conclusion after uh, quickly having a decision, right? But on this point, what is it saying? Mm -hmm. That's it. We need to have second uh, solution or third solution, at least have more and solve our problem. That's what it says. Okay. Uh, reaching that far, we are now done on um, social cognition, but we are remaining with uh, two aspects the attribution, and what is the second one? Yes, so please let's come up with. Uh, brief notes on that so that we will just present while also we we'll also come with another topic so that's it is there any question any comments You have not? Since we started our lessons, I gave you some some notes. That is, yes. Hmm? Yes, I sent notes. But I'll also try to upload some so that you have access to all those uh, notes. You saw the timetable that we are having the mid-term exams, mid-semester exam. Ah, it's hmm. I think it must be the first, if not uh, the second week of September. Are you active on your WhatsApp group? Yes, I am. I am in the WhatsApp group. Oh, 
I'll try to check or resend the notes. Okay. <coughs> we'll meet next week. Yes, ma'am.